Larry Gross here, Mountain Stage is the show, and if you can't hear it on your public radio station, check it out at mountainstage.org. And one of our guests on this show is Lost in the Trees. We have the main man of Lost in the Trees, R.A. Picker, here with us from down in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Is right. that correct? Is that where you did this record? Um, we actually recorded that in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. Monroe, I guess, technically, yeah. which is right outside of Charlotte. If the record is called All Alone in an Empty House, and it's a really very an intriguing sounding record. Everybody who I've seen that's reviewed it has remarked upon the textures, the sound of the record. It is, it does have some classical overtones uh, and influence. Are you a classically trained musician or how did you, how does you come to this sound? I'm not, I uh, went to school for film music uh, and I was in- Went to Berkeley, School of Music, to right? To Berkeley, yeah. And I got there, uh, I guess I always liked the orchestral texture that you might find in some pop songs like Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles or whatnot. Right. And that led me to listen to film music because that's kind of most people's modern source for orchestral music these days. And that led me to Berkeley and then I discovered classical music there. But I had no formal training before Berkeley. So that was 2005 that I started trying to take uh, some of those classical ideas and put them in my own songwriting. Yeah, incorporate them into uh, the, uh, both the sound, the arrangements, the production, the textures for all these things. This, this feeling in the record, there are a lot of tunes, you know, it almost like feels like empty rooms, kind of mm -hmm. very evocative images, both with the lyrics and with the music. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it's autobiographical, yeah. but I don't think it's anything unique to me. I no. think it's... Uh... Of course not, or else nobody would identify with it. Right. <laughs> How long did it take you to, to do this? What, did you go in with it all arranged, or did you, did you go in the studio and then figure out how you were going to do it there? Um, I just kind of worked on it in my bedroom for a few years, and then uh, yeah, I went down into the studio and recorded it. And, I don't know. We didn't we didn't write it in the studio. Yeah. It was all prepared on sheet music and whatnot. So. But you have a, a large group. You'll be on Mount Stage with how many musicians today? Uh, there's seven of us. Yeah. Do you always travel with this big of an ensemble? It used to be more. There used to be 15 of us, but uh, the logistics of that are, are horrifying. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty, <laughs> pretty prohibitive if you're trying to make a living to take 15 people. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're playing stadiums. Yeah, well, we're still not making a living with seven, but it's all right. <laughs> the, the live show always ends up being a little more rock and roll, a little more aggressive than the record is. Yeah. Well, what's next? Going to support that album and write a new one or it's almost already done so you're, the, you're through with the writing for the next project yeah i hope it comes out next year but if not the following for sure is it the same is it the same kind of feel with the same instrumentation or is it something a departure from this um i think it has a lot more it's just it's a much more aggressive record <laughs> so it's a little bit more rock than than this one is not rock but it's kind of more Stravinsky rather oh, than that kind of aggressive uh, yeah than Chopin or something yeah like then Vivaldi that. a little more Stravinsky yeah. and less Vivaldi exactly yeah because this <laughs> does have a, a rich feeling sometimes the strings have that uh, that early yeah baroque kind of feel yeah that record has a lot of baroque and romantic influence and the new record has a more modern vibe Lost in the Trees from down in uh, Chapel Hill, all alone in an empty house. It's a beautiful package, too, is the name 
of the new record and go out and see them. If you can, you'll see uh, a whole bunch of folks on stage wherever they play in clubs or concerts, and the music is quite beautiful. Thanks for being with us, Ari. Thank you so much for having us. Our pleasure. Cheers. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much.